Yeah, going over the 2009 Smart for Two. That one came out of the coupe. So the coupe was having issues with the fuel tank and the fuel pump a while back. I got some videos on that. You guys can see that. Uh, the 09, um, I guess it's a known issue that some of the barbs are failing. These were cracking or whatnot. So I guess the previous owner or previous mechanic who was messing with this thing put like some JB Weld in there. Anyways, the pump finally failed. Um, so I decided for educational purposes, let's take it apart. See if, uh, you know, in the event, you know, these cars are obsolete. So in the event we need to go back in there and get new pump motors, could we do it? You know, so that was the question. So I figured I might as well try to dive into it. There's a little tit here that's like spread open. Smash it down. This whole little barb comes out, little spring that comes out. All right, I had to break this because I couldn't get this thing out. So if you see like right in there, there's like three, three spots. There's this one, this one, and there's one here. So there's three, it's kind of like a P symbol. So it's basically these little brackets. So it's like a little holder, a little plastic holder like that. And then these slide in. So there's little tabs on them. So they're like, you're pulling up. It doesn't want to come, doesn't want to come up. So I don't know how to do it. I know, I don't know. Maybe put a piece of wire here and all three of them and then pull up. Maybe you can lodge it out of there. But this is where the pump motor lives. I'll get to that here in a little bit. This is the exterior housing. There's like a little check valve there. So when you put this in your tank, it allows fuel to come up right and none of it to come back down all right so there's that it's just like a little cup that's what the fuel pump sits inside all right and then this is going to be your they call it the it's like your floats your fuel your fuel sender i guess they call it fuel sending unit but it's basically it's like a float so this is the float so when your fuel tank is low the float goes down when it's full it comes up so this is like a, a potentiometer so it's a variable resistor so when this is when this is empty, when it's down here, if you measure your resistance, you should have 650 ohms. And then when you when it's full, you should measure 100 and, 110 ohms, I believe. Yep, this should be 110 ohms, 650. So if you get those, so if you're measuring this outside the car, you know you have a problem with your fuel gauge. Those are the numbers. You know, depending on how much fuel you got in it, you know that's going to depend on how, what, what resistance you have. So if that's if that's working, then you know it's good. I don't know if you ever want to like mess with it, but here's the little part number for it. I mean, these cars are becoming obsolete, so all this stuff is like gold. Anyways, there you go. There's your part number. All right, let's work our way back to the motor here. And obviously, this is this is where the um, this is where the um, <coughs> float slides into. The two little tabs here. Click onto that. All right, done with that. All right, here we go. Let's let's dive into this thing here. So this is the bottom of the fuel of the fuel pump. So this is like the the filter. And my God, this thing disgusting. Look at this. So the car only had like 56,000 miles when I had to re replace this. Um, that was pretty bad. Anyways, I'm gonna pull this off. Let's see. Let me if you zoom out. Come on. All right, so this is the like fuel filter. Come on. It's like a little fuel filter. So, I don't know. That looks pretty bad to me. I don't know what the hell was in this tank, but anyways, this is uh, this is the actual fuel pump. So I had to put some uh, flathead screwdrivers. There's three there's three spots here. There's this one, this one, and one down here. I lodged them in there to kind of spread the little little plastic apart, and then that allowed me to pull the motor out. Right? Let me do this one hand. All right. So this is your actual fuel pump motor. So I was thinking, I'm like, you know, push come to shove. Somebody's resourceful. Somebody's a little more, a little more finesse than I am. I'm like a bull in a china shop sometimes. But uh, if you can work these tabs out, then maybe you can find a replacement. Maybe get a high performance or I don't know a better pump. But uh, there's one number there: eleven nine zero nine two fifty three. I'd assume Bosch makes it. It's a German. Who knows? But uh, that's all the markings I can see on it. It's pretty generic. But this is the original. Um, I don't see a fuel pressure, like a fuel regulator. There's this little thing here. I don't know if this is considered a fuel regulator. I don't know what it does. There's like a little metal tab that touches the side of the motor that's tied to this. And then this has like spring loaded. And so this comes up. I'd assume it's like a fuel pressure regulator. Let me get to it so you can see it. See? I don't know. If it builds up too much pressure, it lets it out. But um, I don't know if, it's like if that maintains the 50 PSIs because I was looking at another individual's um, 
YouTube channel, and he was saying he ran he ran a um, pressure on, on the on the fuel rail by the fuel line, the fuel ra the fuel injector rail. He, he put his uh, fuel pressure meter there. He was running 50 on, on a good car, so this thing's measuring 30, 30 to 40, so it's got to get replaced. But um, so I don't know if, if we can possibly swap these out. Maybe get 55, 60 psi's, like a solid, like, you know. But you can't exceed 6.6 .6 amps because that little Sam's is known to like, you know, be finicky. So you don't want to overdo it with the amperage. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about the. I have very limited knowledge on the uh, fuel pumps. You know, but I figured let's dive into it. Any part numbers here? Come on. Let's see. I'm blind as a bat, I can't see that. Maybe y'all can make it out. Let me try and focus. A303 something. Um, I'll try and get the magnifying glass and I'll put it in the in the description. But this is the, the fuel pump and then you can get replacement hoses. This is the little uh, connector that goes to the bottom of the, uh, to the top of the, um, it plugs into here and then this 90's out. So this is the one that goes on the outside of your tank that you plug in. Does a 90, this harness plugs into that. And this feeds, uh, two wires feed your motor and two wires feed your um, your fuel level, your potentiometer, your, your fuel sender, whatever you want to call it. But uh, so yeah, um, empty tank, full tank, right? And that's basically it. Um, I don't know, I don't know if anybody successfully, I'm sure that the dudes that do the turbos and they're souping up the um, their Smart for Twos, I mean, they have to get beefier fuel pumps. I'm not sure how they're doing it, but uh, yeah. So I looked everywhere and I didn't see a whole lot of uh, information on the uh, 2009 Smart for Two on up as far as the fuel stuff. So I figured, why not? I'm, I'm working on this piece of junk, right? Getting this thing going. This thing will be done hopefully by next week. And um, yeah, anyways, all right guys, stay tuned for more stuff, I guess.